Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and this is the September e-club kit and um, I have something that I want to make from this kit to put in my large pocket that's on the inside of this journal. This is one of my personal journals that I write in and um, it is the coffee dyed, coffee splattered something 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 journal. I will list the playlist <laughs> of all the videos where I made this journal. I will list that in the description box below. But I do have a rather big fat like can hold lots of stuff front pocket here because it's got gussets on the inside of it so I mean I can put my whole hand down in there and I want something that I can put in that that will fill it up because just adding a couple of tags is not doing it and um, so like back here I have the same type of pocket so gusset on the back and I have some folded over paper for extra journaling back here and I have this little scrap notepad with the little pocket that we have made in an M Scrap Busters before. I have those two things back here. I will get it in the pocket in a second. And it is filled up nicely back there. So now I just want something that I can add here to fill up. And I thought that the colors in the September e-club kit would go so well with this, even though this journal has been made for, um, I think a year and a half. I think that's how old that video, those um, videos are that where I made those. So we've got ribbon in the e-club kit. We have uh, stickle, uh, yeah, stickles. I said that right. I almost corrected myself. It is stickles. Stickles glitter gel. Now, for anybody that does not like glitter, um, I think you're going to like this because it's gel and it's not just going to go everywhere and go on all of your projects. So we'll dabble in that. You get a paintbrush to dabble with on that. A whole pack of um, flat back pearls. You get ephemera to go along with the Dear Love collection. You get um, let's say two glassine bags and you also get a um this beautiful rice paper from stamperia stamperia does an awesome job with their rice paper love 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 um this is that glimmer and my camera does not like black this is black it is like a shimmer black cardstock and it has texture texture to it. I cannot talk today, but see how my camera just, it, it makes it all weird. It don't like the color black. So I'm just showing you, we have, um, this in 12 by 12 size in our shop. I had ordered the wrong size for this kit. So now we have lots and lots and lots of 12 by 12 of these sheets and they are so pretty but look on the back it's just the plain cardstock but on the front you have shimmer and texture it's some cool looking cardstock and uh, instead of just two sheets of cardstock you get three um, for September in the e-club kit and yes we do have some of these left over um, after subscribers um, packages have all been sent out we do have some September e-club kits left over so be sure to um, go over to scrapbookingwithme.com and shop and get you a September e-club kit you can craft along with me with this um, even if you don't have the kit though if you're not planning on buying the kit you can still make this if you've got some cardstock and you know the little stuff that I'm going to be using Using. So, we are going to start with, I think, let's just go with the shimmer black. Let's do that. So, I am going to cut off the branding strip. I'm going to move this stuff over. And I've got to get, <laughs> I had to bend over to get my um, blade. This keeps popping off. Look how easy it comes off. 
I've never had one to do that on this trimmer, but um, something, Fiskars or somebody is not measuring right, and this one, it just pops right off. The others, I had to like pry them off with my fingernails, and this one just keeps popping off over and over and over again. It's a brand new blade. Um, just gonna cut that branding strip off and get that fuzzy off of there too. So we've had a very, 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 very trying week. I mean, it has been, it's been a little overwhelming, but I've, I've just been staying in my craft room and, <laughs> uh, and getting some videos done because we're going to be gone next week. So I had to, but, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I've been kind of hiding out in my craft room this week. Um, I want to go eight and a half. And then we'll have this little strip right here left. We're going to turn it this way. That was on the link that I cut it at, at eight and a half. So right now we have an eight and a half by eight and a half piece of paper. But I'm cutting the height down to... <laughs> six and I think I'm gonna go six and an eighth and that way if I want to mat this with that six by six paper listen to me how smart I'm being if I want to mat this whenever I close it up with some of the six by six paper I don't even have to cut the six by six paper as far as height goes anyways so that and there. So we got those two pieces left over. They're gonna go in my scrap bin. And then I'm gonna fold this uh, this way. Fold it over, get my bone folder. And really burnish that down. Okay, so now we have folded like that. Uh, we have four and a half wide and we have six and an eighth tall okay and I will be rounding those corners so if you've already cut your paper or your cardstock go ahead and round your corners if you want to and then I'm going to do this sheet this is called uh, we try to get all of our cardstock that goes in the e-club kits from basil this one is called walnut cream okay so there's the branding strip cut off of it and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to go um since this side is already eight and a half i think i'll leave it like that and we will cut this let's see no, I'm wrong. This is four and a quarter wide because all the way out is eight and a half. So folded in half, that's four and a quarter. I've, you know, I admit when I'm wrong. I admit that, y'all. Okay, we're going. <laughs> we're going eight and a half. And then we're going six and an eight. <laughs> and there are those two pieces over into my scrap pile. <laughs> oh, man. I, I tickle myself. Don't know why I've gotten myself so tickled, but yeah, tickled myself. All right. And we're going to do the same thing with this one that we did with that one. We're going to fold it over. Okay. So then we're going to butt them up against each other, sandwich them, spoon them, whatever you want to call it. Now, um, for what we are about to do, I am um, okay with the white showing. I'm okay with that. Um, if you want to cut that back some so that it's not showing on the outside, you can totally do that too. Um, I might just barely give it a little trim. So 
I mean, we're talking about little bitty. Like a sixteenth off of it. And there goes that blade again. It popped right off. I need to put a glue dot. I wonder if I put a glue dot under there. Now, later I will be griping because I put a glue dot. But we're going to try to fix that right now. I am stinking tired of that. So we're going to put a glue dot right there. Oh, please stick to it. Y'all cross your fingers with me that this works. Okay, one more. Oh, stay stuck. Come on. Work with me, work with me. All right, and I'm putting you on. <laughs> okay, it still slides. I know what y'all are thinking. Oh, she's putting that on there. She don't know what she's doing because it ain't gonna slide. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, it does. And hey, it don't come off as easily. It's still coming off though. Boogers, I don't know what that, what's all about, all about that. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. Okay, yeah, I like that a little bit better. So I cut off like a sixteenth of that that's going on the inside. Okay, but when I do put it up like this, when I was putting it like this to store it down at my feet, that was popping off every time. So it's not doing that now. So I'm good with that. I like a glue stick. <laughs> glue stick. Pop dots. <laughs> oh, oh, me. I'm going with the uh, medium grade corner rounder and rounding those front corners on both pieces so on the corner rounder we carry these in the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com you have um just slightly rounded a little bit more rounded and whoa 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 that's way rounded okay that's your three <laughs> levels <laughs> on the we are memory keepers corner rounder punch um, and then like that, and we're good. It kind of looks like a little address book, like little old men carry around. Okay, now, oh, that's some pretty paper right there. That is very pretty. I'm going to get to my um, inspirational picture, and that is from Pink Monarch Prints. If I can find it, it will be. Pink Monarch Prints is um, where I got the inspiration for this. She does those wonderful monthly um, huge digital kits. And then she does those little uh, simple things um, that go along with those big um, digital kits. And um, this one was her Christmas page pocket number one printable. And I think it was like two or three sheets. But she made the cutest little thing. And I tried to find a video on it and I can't find it. But now I can find it on Pinterest. Um, and that's how I, I found it was it just popped up on my Pinterest feed. So I don't know how to link that to help y'all out so y'all can find that. But um, I don't know. Maybe I can leave a picture around here somewhere. Hey, Leaner, leave a, <laughs> leave a picture right here so they can see it. I don't, I don't know because I looked and looked and looked on her um, YouTube channel. Now I might message her. I don't know, we'll just see. Anyway. Christmas page pockets number one. And that might be on just on her Etsy shop. That's another thing. I'll look there. I'll, I'll look on her Etsy shop. Maybe we can find it there. All right. I'm going to go at four inches on this. <laughs> it works. And it ain't falling off. Yay. Um, and then I'm going to see... Let's do the medium. 
I'm just on those sides. Yeah, let's go ahead. I should have went at four and a quarter. Let's go ahead and trim off some of the bottom. Let's go just like a eighth, maybe. Round that corner again. You know, I just like to see that matted look. Matte. Kind of like we did when we were scrapbooking. And see, now I've got off too much. <laughs> too much of the top and bottom now. Let's see what it looks like over here. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take that to the top where I want it because this at the bottom is going to be covered up anyway. So, there's your solution, Melina. When you're cutting, measure twice, cut once. There you go. There's my advice for the day. So, I'm just covering this up because we're going to put a slanted pocket on it this way. So I'm just going to cover the backdrop with this beautiful pattern from the paper collection. And let's just get our glue out. Oh, I've had quite a few people asking, um, where are the Sugar Bell caps? Where are the caps? Guess what? They have discontinued these caps. I, d I don't understand their, um, I mean, does that mean that they're about to stop making the Sugar Bell bottles? Or are they rebranding? Or what? But, yeah, they have discontinued those caps. I can no longer get them from our supplier. I went to um, the Sugar Bell, the company that owns Sugar Bell, I went to their personal website and could not find it and it says sold out so I don't know what in the world is going on with the caps for the Sugar Bell bottles but I had uh, some people asking about that and you know they're out of stock on our website but it's because I cannot get them they are out of stock at our well they say discontinued not out of stock they say discontinued at our supplier so that makes me um, not happy <laughs> with sugar rail at all all right now we're going to do a little slanted pocket so it's going to go up this way and we're going to go all the way not just the matte part we're just going to go all the way so we're going to go what was what was that I said four and a quarter wide so we're gonna go four and a quarter wide with a slanted pocket and I just need to find ooh I like the strappity strap since we've got such a busy oh yeah that's gonna look good all right so I'm gonna hold it up against here we're just gonna go here so we're not going back here into the fold okay and then I'm going to make me a little mark here and then I'm going to make me a little mark about here because that's as high as over here that I want that pocket to be so that'll just be my little guideline okay and we're gonna go like this I want um, a good I don't want it to go all the way to the point so I don't want it just a true triangle pocket I want it to have a little a little gap over here to keep it keep things from falling out you know all right so there's my little mark there I want to give myself a little bit more here so I'm gonna go like that oh it didn't cut all the way through because I'm on top of that whoopsie okay and then there went my mark for my other side huh this is what I'm talking about I want I want that 
I want to have that lip right there. So I need to go a little more that way. Y'all like that um, noise I made with that one? So I want to go more to the side. Mm, let's go ahead and trim off my width. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter right there. And then that way that will give me my angle that I need to go at. Yeah, there is totally an easier way to do this kind of pocket. Do it your way. My way is confusing right now, so just do it your way. <laughs> Look at there how pretty it is, though. It is so pretty, and I need to cut off just a, a hair more, as my grandma used to say. I need to cut off just a hair more. Let's see if that hair was thin enough or thick enough. It sure was. It goes all the way. Yay! All right, now I'm going to round that one. And I'm just going to go ahead and round that one. Oh yeah, I like that. Going all the way over here. Very cute. I'm going to ink that. I like the stripes up against the florals. And then we're going to do one other little thingy. And we're going to give ourselves a little hole to put a bulb clip through. And we're going to put it about there. Put on our little bulb clip. And um, we will add a die cut to that to dangle off of that in just a minute. Whenever we get our die cuts out. But I wanted to go ahead and put that on. So that way we can go ahead and put our pocket on too. And I'm getting out my 8th inch score tape wherever it is. There it is. And I'm going to put my pocket on that way. So I'm going to go three sides. So our little short side that we made. And then our long side here. And our other long side. Okay, and let's put that on. Very cute. I like that. Okay, to keep these two pieces together, we're just going to put glue right down the middle. Now, you don't want to get it on any of the sides over here. You just want to go down the fold. And it's not going to take much glue. Now, if you want to stitch it, you can. I just don't think that this is um, the kind of project that needs stitching in it. I'm going to ladle over that glue so it gets off of that back page. Y'all, guess what I did this morning? Guess where I went? Even though I do not have time for it, I've got so much I need to get accomplished before we leave on our trip. But guess what I went and done anyway? I went and had a massage because I was overwhelmed. I was getting sick feeling just with everything that I know I work myself completely up y'all but plus with us being out of schedule a little bit this week and Aaron being out of sort some this week I was just I needed it I was so overwhelmed and we have a friend of the family 
Um, we're really good friends with her parents and um, she is a licensed massage therapist and it was so good. <laughs> It felt so good. It was much needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Megan. She's amazing. Okay, and now I think I will go ahead, while that's drying on the inside there, and we will get our ephemera pack open and see if there's a small enough one that we can pop a hole in and attach to that bulb clip. Okay. I'm just going to pop them all out because there's not a whole, whole lot of them. Oh yeah, and the um, digitals for the e-club kit. The digitals, the digitals. Look at the digitals Mama made for this kit. It comes with it. It's a free download for subscribers. They're beautiful. So pretty. So if you do want to make a journal with this kit, look at all of those pages. Beautiful. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that one. I had to make sure that this one went with it. It does. <laughs> Beautiful. I love those. That's so pretty. Is that cellos, violins, fiddles? What is it? Bass guitar. <laughs> a ba a stand-up bass. There we go. Anyway, beautiful digitals, Mother. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those. I just remembered those. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm scattered this week. So scattered. Um, this is all of the... I'm really, really, really thinking I'll just do that one. The little butterfly. See that that goes, mom's digital stuff goes along with this. Too pretty. But yeah, that's pretty. Yes, I love that. I think I will go with that. I'm gonna ink the white edges and pop that onto the front of our pocket here. Okay. And then, do I wanna put a hole in the butterfly's wing? Yeah, I think I do. I do believe I do. So do I want it to hang off that way? Yep. Okay. So let's put a hole in the butterfly wing. And then open up our bulb clip. And I think I'm going to have to go the other way, ain't I? Or at least, no, what I'm going to do is I have to take it out, put it through the butterfly wing, then put it back through the hole in my pocket. That's what I have to do. And if you don't have a bulb clip, just use a safety pin. Little dangle there. I love that. And we're gonna make tags to go in there. And then we're gonna open this up and kind of manipulate it around because it wants to get all gluey and hold on to stuff that it's not supposed to hold on to. We're going to cover all that with our papers that we put in. Okay, so um, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and, like I did here, cover my pages on the inside of here. And then we're going to come back. I'm going to show you what pockets are going to go on the inside of these. So I've got, let's see here... Uh, on the inside here, we're going to do a half pocket with a little different pull tab. We're going to go here with that. And then we're going to go with a pocket here. And then 
we're going to make up something for here because on my porch prints they didn't have this middle part it was just this one here and they had a back so that was it was just like a four panel and I, we're making an eight panel okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get papers from my paper pad cover these up and then we're gonna come back and make the rest of our pockets Okay, and before I go into getting all the rest of the pockets and the tags and all of that made, um, this is that um, glitter gel, the Stickles glitter gel. And I'm going to put the little paintbrush in that came in the kit. Everybody should have got a paintbrush. Okay, and then it's on there. It is not coming off until I decide to put it on something else. So I'm just gonna make like a little frame around this piece. And really y'all, it's just a glitter gel. It's already got its adhesive in there. So the glitter is not gonna go everywhere. I'm just gonna put a little bitty frame around this scrap piece. There goes Lila barking because the guys just got home from work and that is her hello come pick me up bark <laughs> Lila okay 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 so all around the edges just to give you a little idea great goodness Lila stop of what it looks like so it's got shimmer in it we could cover the whole entire surface if we want to oh it's got some bigger glitter in it too that's pretty okay let's cover the whole piece of scrap i love this just give i mean this is just green cardstock so it gives it just a little extra pizzazz and then you would just let it dry look how cute that is oh that's darling i love that I love glitter gel. You don't have to worry about it getting everywhere. And I'm doing this without a messy mat, just in my hand. Then you can just go back and fill in spots where maybe it wasn't covered well. And I just got just a little bit on my finger, not anything major. But look at that cute so it's got a little bit of a tint to it um and then it's got some really fine mine looks like black just really fine black glitter in the background and then it's got little like sprinkle looking pieces very cute and then some larger silver pieces dab a little bit more on there so I can show you that is cute I love that and then like on white paper if you had some um, white that you wanted to cover up here is a piece of white here that would probably have been the best to show you at first because it's going to show up better on white huh That is super cute. Stickles, you did so good. So it's kind of like the same consistency if you've got stickles, a bottle of stickles at home. Same consistency, but it's just in a jar form and you can paint it on how you want to. And you can make it as thick as you want. <laughs> That's pretty. I like that. It gives you some shimmer. And we shall see what it looks like after it's dried. I'm just going to do this one corner. And we'll look at it whenever it's dry. Now this is for, this is just a little demonstration for the people that got the e-club kit. 
and is looking at that bottle of stickles and going, what in the world am I supposed to do with that? You're supposed to get creative with it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. We'll finish the rest of our project and we'll look at that toward the end. But yeah, this is Stickles Glitter Gel and this is the Dark Matter. <laughs> That's what they called that one. Okay, so we're going to put these off to the side and I'm going to flip it over and get it all over everything else. Yay! Ooh, that gives that a little bit of pizzazz. That was a happy accident. Ooh, pretty. These are um, what I just showed you sped up the um, little journal cards off of that one sheet that mom had done for uh, digitals. And this piece will probably not fit in our little folio that we're making, uh, but I wanted to cut it out and show you what it looks like cut out. And I backed it with some uh, tinted paper. It's just like a, it's made to look like coffee dye, but it's like a faux copy paper. Okay. That's what those look like on that one sheet from mom in the digital set. I love that. So these, now that I got stickle, stickles on those, I might have to dry them. These are going to go in my front pocket. So both of these will fit in the front pocket. And look how well mom did with the matching of her digitals with this kit. That is so pretty. So I'm going to take these out so they um, that stickle does not get does not get on there. And I've missed some glue in. Looks like here, huh? I'm going to put some glue back here, and then we're going to put in all of our pockets, and we're going to fill up our pockets. I have already went ahead and pre-cut pockets because if I didn't, this video was going to be too, too long. Alright, and is this one... Oh, I missed a little bit on that one too. Usually if I miss one edge on one, I'm going to miss the edge on the other one too. Okay, so we're going to let those dry. The accidental stickles. Okay, for this next page, so we've got our front page, and this is an eight page folio but it's easy peasy and eight pages because we've put a pocket on the front and we're putting a pocket on the back. Let's go ahead and put on the back pocket and I went with that same stripe that we did on the front and then here are the two little journal cards, tags, whatever from that digital that we're going to put in this back pocket. So I am going to go with glue. I did eighth inch score tape on that front one, didn't I? I sure did. Oh well. <laughs> uh, usually no rhyme or reason to my gluing, but I do like to use my eighth inch score tape on my pocket, so I don't know why I didn't just go with that. I guess because it's out of sight, out of mind. It wasn't right here in front of me. There it is, way up there. Whoops. Oh well. Then I'm going to pick out a die cut to go on this back pocket, and I think I'm going to go with that one. It's beautiful. Yep. Let's ink around the edges of it. And put our glue on. Okay, and I think we're dry enough that I can go ahead and put these two little cards in there. Beautiful. I love it stacked like that. It's just a little, little extra something for me. I just like that. And I'm going to ink the back of my butterfly wing that I have on the front. Okay. Let's see if that, that is dry enough for that. I'll go ahead and put these two in my front pocket. Pretty. So there's my front pocket done, my back pocket done. Okay, and then on this page, right inside, 
we're going to do a half page slide in pocket and for the opening here I'm going to use my tab punch just that very bottom part of my tab punch and I'm going to try to get right at middle okay just like that and I'm going to ink those edges real heavy like that and I didn't get far enough I got a little bitty piece that I need to trim off there and there whoop that went a little haywire there we go okay and then I'm going to use my eighth inch score tape and I'm going to go around my edges just the three sides like that and then come around here on the long side and do that and I take them off with the little pointy end the backing I take that off with the little pointy end of my stylus we carry these stylus sets in our shop so you got a little pokey tool on one end of one of them there's three in the set I think and then on the other end you have the largest um, ball that you use on your scoring tool all right so I'm going to line this up with that paper that's matted on the page like that Okay, and then I've already cut out a piece that will go inside of here. Okay, yep, that slide's good. And then I'm going to put a tab from this on here so we'll have it to pull it out. So let's, I think I'm going to go with this pink. And it's a shame to cut up all of these cut aparts, but I want that pink as my tab. And I have ordered more of these tab punches, but they are just on back order with the company. So that's why we are out of stock of them. Okay, and then I'm going to ink. I didn't tell y'all I'm using um, Vintage Photo Oxide as my ink of choice today. There's that. I'm going to take this out. If you want to round the corners, go for it. Yep, I'm going to put it on just like that. Get some glue. And this is one of the easiest setup folios ever to make. And then I'm just going to kind of line that up the way it would go here. In the middle, put my little tabby on. and then slide that in let it dry cute I like that it can go in a little there we go it can go in a little bit further just like that and let's go ahead and flip to that back page here I've got the same thing I'm gonna go on back here oh I didn't tell y'all on this here I put some washi tape that matched all of this. It was just something that came in, actually, I think Mama's uh, Timu uh, shipment. It was just really matchy-matchy, and I loved it, so I put some washi down that way and that way, and that just reinforces this to keep it in there, too, other than the glue that we used. And then I'm going to get my tab punch again. And we're going to do that same kind of notch like that 
Oh yeah, that one came out a little bit better than that front one. And then I'm going to heavily ink that. And then line that up like that, just like we did the front. All right, and then we are going to put, I believe this one, yep, that one there. I like that. Um, it's the little cut aparts, but they're just showing on the actual pocket. And I'm going to do the same kind of notch with my tab punch. And then heavily ink it. Okay, and that's going to go right there after I get the um, adhesive on the back just like that and it is ready for a tag we've just got to make them okay so there's our um, next one two third page then fourth and fifth page we're going to make it very easy and we are going to do two slant pockets here and here and we'll make tags to go inside of those we can put die cuts on these also so I'm going to go ahead and get some adhesive on the backs and get those put in just like that and let's see on this one since it's a little plain let's see if we want to put oh that's pretty let's put that little clock die cut on there And since that one's a little busy, I think I'm going to leave it as is. And we'll make tags to go in those in just a minute. And then this pocket is going to go here. And I'm going to make that same tab notch at the top of it. And ink it. and then add on my score tape to the back of it just on the three sides just like that and then let's get something out of here to add to the front of this pocket ooh that's kind of made for that one I like it got a moth and some flowers and some little ticket looking things on it put that there to dress that pocket up and that was um, a little matchy matchy there so maybe we can put a little something extra on this one it needs a little bit more color don't it let's see if I put that in there what are you going to see that's going to be sticking out. I like that. So we'll put that kind of stuck a little bit on the tab. I love old typewriters. That's so pretty. Okay. And that just breaks that up just a little bit. I like that pretty okay I have cut some just craft cardstock just to kind of break up the busyness of this whole project because there was lots of pink and lots of flowers so we're just breaking that up a little bit and I'm just checking to make sure that my cardstock stock fits in to my pockets before I trim the tops with my tag punch and we do have these back in stock in the shop the diagonal punch is what we are memory keepers calls them but it is a tag punch 
so I'm using the largest one and making my tag top corners. I'm going to round the bottoms just because I want to. You don't have to. Okay. And then the medium rounded corner for the bottoms of them. It gives us a lot of journaling space too when we just use craft cardstock. Get all those little pieces gone. So that's what they're going to look like. We're going to put tabs at the tops of them with our um, pattern paper that's in the paper pad. I'm going to ink around each one of these, front and back. Okay, and then I'm going to use this really pretty floral like we used on the front as my tabs for these. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch four and get them inked, folded, and inked and put at the top. So this is how I'm going to do this. Let me ink this real quick and show ya. Just glue on both sides inside. And then top of the tag, as close to middle as possible, gets a little tab, and that will be the pull tab that you use whenever you're putting them in and pulling them out. So it coordinates really well. Okay, let's do the rest of them. Now, I want this folio pretty flat because it's going to go in my um, journal pocket, one of my journal pockets. But um, if you were going to use this um, just singularly um, as a gift, or this would be great to put um, gift cards in and send to someone. So, I mean, it's pretty flat. It does have some girth to it, but it's pretty flat. So I will leave it as is and not put too many more decorations on the inside but I will use that pretty satin sheer ribbon from the kit to tie it up so we'll tie it that'll be the closure and I'm thinking I want to put some of these little violin die cuts on these craft tags that's pretty So let's just glue some of these on there. You don't have to do it on all of them. I just wanted to dress them up a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. And then the violin sticking up out of it. And I think I'll do it on this one. Put that one on there. That one's got a lot of white on it. Let's get it going. Put this, um, I think this is a hawk. I'm going to put that there on that tag. And then let's figure out what we want to put on that one other tag. We can put it down at the bottom. And then it'll be a surprise whenever you pull it out. It'd be like somebody looking through it going, hmm, you put something on all the other craft tags. Why don't you put something on this craft tag? Well, pull it out and you'll see. <laughs> okay. Pretty. And then I do believe I want to put some of these, maybe the tiny ones, do like three right here. I think that's where I'll put them. Of the little enamel dots, these are some that we do carry in the shop. We have the black and the white, and these have a lot of um, little shimmer that actually matches that glitter gel that we've been using. So let me find my P 
pickup tool. And we also carry these in the shop. I'm going to pick up this little bitty pearl. I'm going to make me a little line of three of these. So there's one. And if you try to pick it up too quick, it'll go flying. And that's always fun, trying to chase it down. I love my pick-me-up tool. And then line them up. Oh, I think that's pretty good. This one needs to come up just a tad. I had someone ask the other day, what is your one thing that you would tell anybody just starting out as far as um, paper crafting goes? And I would say my one true piece of advice is don't try to be perfect. And here I am trying to line up three enamel dots perfectly. But don't try to be perfect because, and don't try to be like somebody else that crafts. Uh, of course, get inspiration from somebody else, but make it your own. Um, your creation does not have to look exactly like anybody else's. So don't try to perfectly imitate others and don't try to make everything perfect in your creations because it is handmade for a reason. Um, with this little butterfly, I got tired of it dangling around so much that it was going backwards, so I put a little pop dot back behind it, <laughs> a glue dot. So there is one pocket filled. There is second pocket filled. Third pocket. Fourth pocket. Fifth pocket. Six. Seven. I really love that piece on that. Well, and if I could push it down straight, we would have a really good pocket there. Seven. <laughs> and then eight on the back. Very cute. And then I'm going to use this green that I did really good, um, I think, with matching that green up. You know, I'm just looking at a computer screen whenever I pick out these kit y'all. So I'm going to tie my bow back here instead of where I would usually tie it there since my butterfly is sticking out on that end. Cute. Okay. I don't think I'm going to cut those tails. I think I'm just going to leave it as is and maybe even put my bow back here and pull it up some so it's in the middle. So my bow's on the spine. I like that. So there's a little closure for it. And let's see if we have just made extremely too much out of this and it's not even probably gonna go in the pocket that I was wanting it to go in. Maybe it will. With that ribbon closure, it might not, but oh yeah, it will. Oh yeah, that's good. And this is a big old Pac-Man mouth journal anyway, so I don't care that there's even more Pac-Man mouth added to it because of this. Cute! I like that, y'all. Very cute, and we still have lots of our paper left over, a couple of the, the die cuts, and then lots of the enamel dots left over. Here are those pieces after that glitter has dried. Look at that shimmer! Very cute on that one, and then on the corner of this one. And yeah, you're getting your paper wet, so it's going to warp a little bit. Look how much shimmer is in that. Very cute. I wish I had some nail polish like that. That would be very pretty. Uh, maybe Bethany can bring home some, some like that. Okay, so then we still have another sheet of cardstock that we can make something else out of with this paper. We still have our rice paper 
and you would just use that um, if you've never used rice paper before you would just use that like tissue paper um, kind of tear it and use some uh, glue back behind it and put it down with a spatula of some kind so it's going to be a little translucent but you would use it like a napkin like decoupage that's how I would use a rice piece of rice paper and that's what it is it's kind of like it's fibrous on the back so you can put it on like napkin or tissue paper and then we still have the two medium I think this is the medium size yep it's either medium size or large size, sorry, uh, that we carry in the shop at scrapbookme.com of the glassine bags, and I will use those as pockets in a journal. Might even make a journal with those beautiful journal pages I have left over from the kit, the digital kit that comes with this eclub kit for September, y'all. This has been very fun and I hope very informative for you and has helped you a little bit. I'm going to get this off so you don't have a glare. Um, very informative for you and just another easy quick way to make a folio. This one is just one of the prettiest ones I think that we have made and that is all thanks to the inspiration that I got from Pink Monarch Prints. And like I said, I will try my best to find where she's got a video of that. I know she has a reel, R-E-E-L, on, um, I want to say Instagram. I'll try to find it and um, leave that link in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I will get you some still shots of each page at the end. Y'all have a great day. God bless. And if you are not a subscriber to the eClub kit, you need to be. So I will leave that link in the description box too and uh, go over there and sign up. And we've got some great, great kits in store for y'all. God bless. Bye y'all.